Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the easiest and the quickest way to make soya at home in the oven. Your soya is going to have a smoky flavor. You won't even believe it was made in the oven. So let us jump right into the recipe. Right here, I have my beef. For the beef, I'm using the brisket. I prefer the brisket because it has some layers of fat in between the meat, which is going to make the soya really, really juicy and tender. So the next thing you want to cut that into chunks. You do not want to cut them to be too thin because it's going to dry off and become really, really hard. If you like yours that way, then you can go ahead and make it or you can cut it whatever sizes you want. So after slicing, the next thing you want to transfer into a bowl and we are going to go ahead to mix our dry rub or the soya spices together. Inside a bowl, I will add in some onion powder, some garlic powder, hot paprika, ginger powder, salt. I have some beef rub here. This is optional. If you do not want to use any beef rub or if you do not have it, you can as well skip it. You must not use it, okay? The next will come in black pepper. And I have my soya spice, which is one of the main ingredients. If you miss how to make the soya spice, I made it before. So make sure you check out that video, okay? You want to put enough of that because it's the main ingredient. Now adding some seasoning powder. And you're going to mix everything until well combined. Now add that to the beef with some cooking oil and mix that perfectly. So guys, to have that beautiful smoky flavor, I will be using some liquid smoke here. You know I love using it a lot as you've seen in my previous videos. If you do not have this, make sure you grab this quickly, okay? Watch this video to the end and I will be telling you or showing you how to grab the liquid smoke. So go ahead and mix everything perfectly. I'll go ahead to brush some oil on my grilling rack right here so that my beef doesn't stick on it okay then you're going to place the beef on it and it's going to go to the oven right away so what i'm going to do i'm going to add in some oil and i brush it on the beef this is going to make it extra juicy right now it's going to go to the oven at 420 or 430 degrees fahrenheit for about five minutes for the first side and when you flip the sides it's gonna finish cooking for about three to four minutes okay at this point be careful not to overcook the beef or maybe to over grill the beef okay i just brushed some oil on the other on the other side just to make it juicy it's gonna go back to the oven and after the time this is how to be sure that it's looking you can go ahead and slice to serve right away see how juicy that beef is still looking this is how you want to make your beef a super flavorful it has a smoky flavor because of the liquid smoke so make sure you grab this if you have a charcoal grill then you are in for the perfect option but but if you do not have a charcoal grill and you have an oven especially those in the diaspora then you should go ahead and use this method i'll just go ahead and sprinkle some hot pepper powder in there this is cloudy's pepper pepper that's the soya pepper and serve with some onion or garnish with whatsoever this is how delicious that is looking look at that it's just like you bought it from the roadside and it's super flavorful so guys thank you so much for watching to this point i appreciate all the love the support the likes the comments you guys are amazing so guys as you can see even my two year old could not wait to devour the meat <laughs> this is the information on how to get the liquid smoke it can also be shaped to you so guys thank you so much for watching and to meet again in my next video bye for now and take care